Good morning, Cyber Traders. Happy Monday on this uh, March 18th. How's everybody doing? Ben, good to see you. Scott, Fran, everyone. Lita, good to see you. Mark, good to see you all. Phil, good morning, Mark. Uh, good, good. All right, so uh, a lot of action going on this morning for a typical Monday. What the hell's going on? I got a list here that's like off the charts, but uh, we're going to talk a little bit before we get started about Friday. So uh, good to see you, Lita. Nice to be back. Yep. Just came back from Florida. Uh, went to a big conference down there and also a little pleasure, too. My kids went to Universal. They had a great time, you know, family and, uh, and pleasure. You know, it's with a mix of little business there. It's always been fun. Remember, family first. <laughs> All right, guys. So let's uh, but it's time to go back to work. I uh, heard you guys had a great day on that S uh, S N L N O uh, for some of you that are starting here for the first time i know this is a brand new week for some of you and uh we just like to tell everyone before we start going through the watch list listen this is not a teaching room this is a trading room all you have to do is remember the three l's look listen and learn so uh let's just talk a little really briefly what happened last week big winner last week was this sl uh, SLNO, uh, you could see here at a great pre-market trading, a $2 stock all the way to $3 and right around 11, the thing ran away to five. Great, great winner. It looks like, uh, I don't know, 150% mover. Not bad for a day's pay. A lot of you uh, probably cut left work early. You could see it didn't do nothing in the middle of the day and all of a sudden it dropped, but that's not important. What's important is that we made money here. Uh, greatest thing that you could probably take away from the stock right here, the SL, the SLNO, is that if you look at the pre-market, which is defaulted in red, you could see a stock had an unbelievable push going to nine o'clock and then it did its five minute shake right at three and then boom, if you get in the pre-market and made that buck move, you still could have made money going into the open, still got plenty of time. So that really was the real big winner uh, that we had going on to Friday. So let's talk about what's going on today because what happened Friday is now into the archives. It's gone. It's over. You can't go back and cry of a spilt milk if you missed it. Remember my motto, just trade one damn share of the stock because you're never going to learn trading on demo mode if you keep doing it. Remember, you got to have some skin in the game. Biggest thing that we've learned. And you know what? Uh, for everybody about the conference that I went to on Friday, uh, Thursday, Friday last week, I just want to just kind of give you guys a little taste of, of what, what, I've, what I was doing. Um, I probably met maybe 30, 40 of our partners. A lot of you seen them here at CyberTrade University. A lot of you are going to see them in our Cyber Expos. And, um, and it's funny, but you know, it's like a big mastermind uh, of us all talking to each other, working together. You know, some of you might say, might think we're in competition with each other. We're really not. We're one really big group. Remember, I I'm very good when it comes to day trading. Someone's a lot better at me in options trading. a lot more better on swing trading, futures trading, forex trading. I mean, and but it's all, we all hear the same damn thing. This is the reason why I'm bringing this up. It's amazing, but everybody just doesn't know how to hit the button. They don't sp uh, uh, take the time to you know, sample a little bit of everyone's product, find out what they really, really liked, uh, and, and stick with it. Listen, this is not like waking up every morning at 5 a.m. and going to the gym and not be mentally there or whatever it may be. This is, this is just something that we're doing right now uh, where you all love doing this. You just got to know how to play the game the right way. All right. Now, uh, the rumor is plotting. I'm looking to take in the world, Mark. Oh my God, rumors already out already. <laughs> that's why we call it the. Yeah, that's why we call it the, the Cyber Trading University. We're going to be the university of everybody <laughs> on the on the internet. So. Um, so anyway, let's go over our watch list because we got a lot of good stocks going on right now. Let's start off with the DERM, which a lot of you guys are already looking at already. So DERM, um, everyone I know has been already in the pre-market trading on this one right here. Let me put the two-minute chart. Uh, this stock had a resistance level around 1450, around 715 this morning. So, you know, it's still got a lot of room, but she really backed off a lot right here from that high. She backed off going up until about eight o'clock in the morning. She went around $11. So the stock is extremely volatile. Biggest thing you guys got to be very careful about the stock right here. Let me just fix my my um, matrix right here is that you do got some iceberg orders, 3,000, 2,000, 4,000. So you definitely got some really good movement. The big thing you got to be concerned about is the stock's got a very big spread. So 
if you're a new trader, um, you're a level one, level two trader, or cyber trader, guys, stay away from the stock. This could be one of those big high flyers. Can it go to, you know, be one of our, you know, $14, you know, fill in the gap, go to 24? Absolutely can. But remember, trade within your experience because you want to blow up your account. Very easy to do that. Remember, this is not a sprint. It's a marathon. PHAS is another one that's moving also pretty nicely. She backed off a little bit right now, but uh, she's up about 100%. Another one that's up pretty nicely, uh, gapped up pretty. Uh, but it's not like uh, it's not like the DERM where it's more or less it's got a nice little push going into the open. This one start backing off a little bit. That one's not that terrible, but we, that one's going to be on the watch list. Once again, big big list right here. One I also like a little bit better is this DARE. This stock is pushing really nicely. Better spread up 160%, 2.4 million shares already trading pre-market already. Look at that gorgeous little Fausto flag. Look at that breaking higher highs. This stock is a lot better. You got resistance levels right here. A little bit more orders out there on the on the on the iceberg on level three. So we're gonna keep an eye on that one. Kind of like that one right so far a little bit better. Uh damn I'm trying to type LT LPTX. Another one that's up a, uh, pretty nicely too this morning right here, up 31%, 3.3 million shares. Another stock. Uh, it did it did pretty well yesterday. I mean on Friday it was breaking. It was trading a lot of volume on Friday, you know, in the after hours. But stock uh, is gapped gapped up pretty big this morning, but she's backing back down. She looks like she's testing pre pretty comfortably right here, but she's got a really good spread. A lot of orders out there, which looks like to me it looks a little bit more like a level one, maybe level two trading stock as of right now uh lptx oh i said that one atos just this is so long i'm bouncing around all over the place atos another one that's up about 15 percent nice little push spread looks okay got good tier sizes all over the place uh this stock you guys remember it we traded the stock we're from a buck 50 to eight dollars great great move why do i like it well, once again, it took, a, you know, this was to me was one of those short squeezes. We did really, really well with this stock, but she's coming up a little bit right now. So we got some good support resistance levels. We could track the last few days that we've been trading it, but um, she is coming up a little bit. Once again, don't be preying on. Say, oh, it's going to go back to seven. Listen, anything could happen. But remember, your goal is to make a day's pay. A lot of stocks out here to trade. That's what it's all about. APRO, just want to just talk about this one. Stock is getting destroyed. Okay. Oops, spelt it wrong. ARP, um, A -R -P -O, there it is. So down 65%. Pharmaceutical stock. What do we know about pharmaceutical stocks, guys? They don't come back. Okay. Uh, but she's testing some major support levels here. Hey, you never know, but the stock um, not looking too well, being down 65%. So try not to get suckered in. We all know about these stocks, uh, these these uh, pharmaceutical stocks. They, lo they lose that. They get destroyed. Here's a stock. It's a little bit more expensive. Okay, I'm going to talk about a couple of little bit more expensive stocks uh, that, that kind of came up my radar. The only reason why I'm bringing it up because we do got some level five traders out there. So WP, the stock is pushing up pretty nicely from eight to about buck 14, 108 to 1014, breaking a 52 week high right here. Nice little push, nice little trend. Just uh, make sure you got deep pockets. You could see, and, and, and the big thing I want to point out to this stock is this. Listen, everyone's looking at like, oh, why should we trade this stock? This looks like a real stock. You know, hundred dollar stock, not the three dollars or five dollar stocks. Yeah. Okay. So why is there so many hundred share orders out there? What is that? A ten thousand dollar, eleven thousand dollar order out there? You know, that's like buying a thousand shares of eleven dollar stock. So listen, if the street's not doing it, why should you? So I always want to point that out to everyone. Uh, here's one that looks really slow. CV, uh, CVRS I found this morning. CVRS. There we go. All right, so this one, um, it's going up really slow. But if you look here in the long term chart, stock was a buck 40 to a buck 90. Looks more of like a swing trade. So if you guys ever want to know what grass looks like, how it grows, this is the stock you probably want to watch. 
Um, this is a great for somebody as a beginner that never been in a trade before. Uh, you got a nice iceberg order here at 20,000 sitting here at 215, which is probably explain why it's having a tough time breaking it. But I really, you want to learn something pretty quickly. Watch that big order out there. It takes a lot of shares to move this, this stock right here. Listen, 43 thousand shares are trading pre-market that's half of it's right there just sitting on the offer so let's see how that one works out lumber liquidators let me tell you i don't really think this stock ever made a comeback after what happened on uh, when they did a big article on this uh on 60 minutes this stock got destroyed from that stock was a hundred dollar stock look at it, it's getting killed anyway lower lows stocks get taking a beat up a beat up looks like a good short one stock i've been a big fan of right right now also but i'm not ready to buy it long term i'm looking more of a swing trade but we all know what's happening with boeing get their planes being grounded this thing is just all over the place so you got to be a level four trader to trade this stock right here probably only could trade 100 shares at a time but it does got some unbelievable swings and last but not least let's talk about disney um i did not go to disney i'm not a disney fan but they let me tell you one thing i learned about disney being orlando they own everything okay every little piece of property every hotel everything hotel uh park everything i mean don't think of disney just as uh they, you know as mickey mouse this, i mean they, this guy it's, it's just incredible. I mean, they own, when I say they own everything, they own everything in Orlando, not including all the movies they make. So I think, I think just, the, I think just the, the, the amusement park is a front. You guys ever go to Hershey Park? Anybody ever Hershey Park, right? So Hershey, what do you think of Hershey? Think of Hershey Park? No, you think of Hershey Chocolate. So, um, but I, the, the park is pretty much more of a, I guess the gimmick of the whole thing about it. But the thing is, I feel Disney's really the same thing. So anyway, I don't know what, what's happening, but stock's taking a big hit. I'm just bringing it up because it showed up on my radar. Not that we're going to trade it. I'd rather trade the other ones. All right, everybody. Really nice list here for a Monday. We all know about Mondays. I know we're we're in the thick of things. In March, this is the one of the best times to trade. Remember, a lot of action. I told you this. For some of you, we hear it in the summertime. You know, we did pretty good in the summertime. Days like this, we got about, we're lucky if we got three or four. I told you, when you start getting into the thick of things, kids are back in school, you know, New Year, a lot of news coming out you know, on the street and, you know, new election year, everything. This is what you have to look for. And that's why the list is getting so big. So there's a lot for you out there to trade. So if you miss one of them, listen, trade something else. There's something else out there. And also just to let you know, not all these stocks are going to move. We all know that on a morning watch list. If some of you didn't jump in yet, we always get a whole new stock that shows up uh, once the market opens up. So if we see something, say something. Anything I'm missing, I did not call out. Anything, uh, anything, I'm, anything I'm missing? Benito says uh, DAR wants three bucks. Oh yeah, she's right there, but she keeps testing it. You can see the orders out there at three. Set, look, you got a 7,500 share seller out there at 299. You know, so you definitely got something right there. All right, guys. So you got the watch list. We'll put them in there. Uh, just remember, if you're new to Cyber Trading University and you're here in the trading room, you're doing our trial. We always just tell you, remember, it's not a teaching room. It's a trading room. All you need to do is look, listen, and learn. Don't look at me. There's not the Fausto show. The goal is here is watch and see how everybody else trades with themselves. See if this is for you. Because remember, trading, I know everybody wants to do this. Doesn't mean you should. And, and the only way you're going to know that is to see what's going on in the room. So everybody sit back and enjoy. Guys, good luck today. Happy trading. And we'll see you back at 2.30 for the afternoon meeting. Good luck, everyone.